Today is the 17th of October. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's, I know what's after. It's after 1,500 hours. I am in Iowa. Take a view. I'm in a, a state park here in Iowa. Mississippi River is really close just to the east of me. Look at the the, the ravine and the slopes. This is a perfect, perfect place where, where uh, Bigfoot would live. And they're here. They're in here. One of the reasons I decided to stop and kind of make this is just, just to kind of tell people that um, if you think you have to be in the Pacific Northwest to encounter a Sasquatch, you're sadly mistaken. Uh, there's a very large metropolitan area right along this river, very close to here, and I can promise you, they're here. They're always in places like this that people wouldn't think. And this, this kind of habitat, they love this stuff with the, the, the ravines and the slopes, and there's a specific reason why they like that, but I'm not going to get into the reason why they like that. But this is a, a, these are really easy places for them to live and to avoid us. So, one of the reasons I wanted to make this is I wanted to address something that people seem to encounter when they encounter these beings. And I hear it all the time. And I don't pay much attention to it because this is my experience. Listen to how quiet it is. Hear how quiet it is? No birds, no crickets. There's a red bellied woodpecker. And something that sounds like it's clacking rocks. Can you hear that? Just to the north. Sounds like something clacking rocks. Now, if it's them, I don't know. I've been fooled before by woodpeckers before doing that. Um, I hope you heard that. Let me, let me tell you one of the things that they do. If you're in a place like this where people come and go and there's trailheads, they have what I call a day watcher. They will put a juvenile in charge of that area and will watch it from usually like a 300-yard distance in the shadows, um, undercover, watching people come and go. And what they're doing is they'll alert the sleeping adults if somebody strays off the path and does something unusual, does something not predictable. If they're just walking the path like normal people and not doing whatever normal people do, fine. But if somebody does something a little different, they're going to let the others know. You might actually hear a wood knock or something when that happens, but <clears throat> that's typically what they do. So they'll have a, a day watcher. You can call them a sentry, guard, whatever you want to call them. I just call them day watchers. Positioned in, in an area where we're coming and going on a regular basis just to keep an eye on us. <clears throat> but that's not... You can hear cars coming and going up the up the road here, up the into the park. Because there's a lot of people here. I've never been here before. Um, but I, Iowa's a beautiful place along the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi River is just uh, east of here. And um, the thing I wanted to address was the stillness and the quietness of the woods. I don't know. I spent some time in the Deep South. It's a little different there in the middle of winter because there's a lot more birds there. Not just that, there tends to be mixed flocks of overwintering birds there. Um, and they'll fly around in these mixed flocks. Bluebirds, chickadees, palm warblers, um, black and white warblers. And they'll be, in, they'll be in these little mixed flocks, flocks and going around and making noise as they go. So there'll be more noise there. But here, up north, after a certain time of year, you don't have it much noise. There's somebody's fan in their car engine going. You don't have much noise. 
in, in my experience and out in these woods in, in the Midwest has been that spring and early summer they're noisy because you have a lot of migrating birds going through resting for the day <clears throat> and um, in migrating birds in the spring tend to be very vocal their hormones are raging and the males are singing even if they're not on territory they're just in the mood but if you listen there's a lot of silence here now this is late this is October most of the insects have passed uh, their life cycle is you know there's a life cycle with insects within a certain period of time they die even if we don't have a frost <clears throat> the, and the younger ones that aren't mature may overwinter to the next year so you won't be hearing them calling like crickets and grasshoppers and uh, katydids and cicadas and so forth so you won't be even hearing the insects and you don't hear any birds because the birds are not singing this time of year that's why you don't hear them so people there's a lot of people that say the woods went silent there were no frogs there were no birds there were nothing and like I said it depends on where you're at it depends on what kind of environment you're at and where you're at because there are some places that have frogs croaking all year. There's some places that have <clears throat> birds making noise all year. But you don't have that here. It's the silence is some deafening. And it's like this all the time. In the I, I shouldn't say all the time, but it's like this in the fall. It's like this in the winter. Outside of a few woodpeckers. Like I said, there was a red belly just yelling away a little bit. And the only noise you're hearing, and I know you're hearing, are people in the cars. Because even I can't get away from human beings as much as I try. No matter where I go. No matter where. And I love to go to forests that don't have a lot of people traipsing around them. And this apparently looks like a pretty big place. Because <clears throat> there are a lot of cars here. So I just wanted to film it because it's really kind of beautiful. A lot of work climbing up and down these things. So Mississippi River is a beautiful river. <clears throat> it's got some beautiful scenery, even for Iowa. You know, people don't think Iowa's got some beautiful scenery. It sure does. But it's generally along the, the river because it's got bluffs on the side of the river and they're beautiful and this time of year the color is just starting to come in a little bit so I noticed so so I just wanted to address that just listen just listen how quiet it is there's a slight drone of, of, of a few insects but not not loud And they do hear a warbler or two floating around in the trees with a locator call. Which I'm sure nobody is hearing because the phone's not picking it up. <clears throat> but that rock clacking sound was interesting. But I've been fooled before with that stuff, so I don't always give it uh, any, any credence. So... Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is just because you live near a large city doesn't mean that there aren't any Bigfoot living in the woods nearby. Because trust me, they are. And the problem is when they live like that, their behavior is much different because they're trying to avoid detection. So they won't be yelling, they won't be screaming, they won't be moaning, they won't be hollering. You'd be real lucky if you can get that. Doesn't mean they don't do it, but man, when there's a if they live near a populated area, they tend to keep their vocalizations to a minimum because they are not trying to draw attention to themselves. And these days, with all the people because of the stupid TV shows and people go out there yelling and hollering, it's made them even more silent. You never hear anybody talk about that, but apes don't do that. Just a simple animal doesn't do that. You're dealing with a cognitive uh, a human type being I'm not saying they're human but maybe we need to change the definition of what it means to be human but they're cognitive like we are cognitive not cognitive like an ape or a gorilla or a chimp or a crow or a dolphin they're human cognitive 
that kind of changes the game, doesn't it? But how many people watching this are going to actually believe it? And I honestly could care less. I know what I know. And the people that I know know what I know, know what they know too. The friends that I run with, they all know it's all true too. So till next time.